Smith said, quote, we know wherever he is, he's doing things the right way. He's probably running the same drills. We're not worried. He is a professional. Shannon, can you see Zeke actually missing regular season games? Well, I think when you take this approach, Skip, I think you have to be willing to go the distance. Um, you don't start a race if you're not going to be willing to finish the race. But the, before I go any further, Skip, you see the difference? between the way the Dallas Cowboys and their players are handling Zeke's holdout as opposed to Pittsburgh Steelers Great and how they handle Le'Veon Bell's holdout, Thought where one that. team was bashing the guy for trying to get his money, and the other team is like, hey, we know he's putting that work in, so when he comes back, he's going to be ready to go. This team loves Ezekiel a Elliott. A exactly. A really it, just, it just goes to show you mm -hmm. the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to uh, iterate that. Skip, for me, is that Zeke understands the only leverage a player has is his ability to hold out. Where whether people agree or disagree with it, that's his only leverage, mm -hmm. is to withhold his services. Just like teams can withhold that paycheck, or they can release you or, or move on in a different direction. Zeke says, think about how many touches I put on my body in the first ye three years of my NFL career, Skip. Mm -hmm. He's led the league in carries two of the three years, and he's missed games in those years, Skip. He played 15 rookie year because they had everything sold up. He uh, uh, missed a game last year. They had everything sold up. Mm -hmm. And he still led the league in carries. Now, factor this in. Whether it's their ability, whether they believe that Zeke has gotten better at catching the football or Zeke's worked on his hands, whatever the case may be, now they're throwing him 70-plus passes a season. So he's mm -hmm. getting 310. I believe if he starts the season... That number will be at least 310, mm -hmm. probably in the 350-ish. Mm -hmm. Plus, you tack on 50, 60, maybe even 70, 80 ball skip, mm -hmm. you're getting to that danger zone, which is 400-plus touches. And Zeke understands, Skip, you can't, you can't, mm -hmm. this is not the world you want to live in if you're a running back. This is why a lot of teams have two guys, mm -hmm. because they know with the kind of pounding that a running back takes in today's game, he can't last like, look, a guy, how Emmett was able to play 15 years, Skip, taking them because he led the league in carries. Whether or not he had a big offensive line or not, they were still landing on him. They were still hitting that. They didn't get clean shots. Mm -mm. Emmett didn't run the contact like Zeke did, like uh -huh. Zeke did. Zeke does. Mm -hmm. Emmett was slippery sliding, and by the time you realize it, he got 5, 10 yards, he was down. He was taking glancing blows. Zeke understands that his style of running is not conducive for a 10, 12, mm -hmm. Emmitt Smith, 15-year Marcus Allen-type career. So he understands, I need to get my money now because they're going to put even more and more on my plate mm -hmm. as this thing progresses. Skip. I have no problem with what he's doing, and he understands if you take this approach, you got to be willing to with, miss games because if you don't miss games, what have you actually accomplished? Mm. You just you just had an extra uh, extra what month, six weeks of off season vacation mm -hmm. as opposed to coming to camp. You've accomplished absolutely nothing. Okay, I've told you this before and I'll tell you this again. Emmett Smith avoided contact better than any <laughs> running back I ever watched. Yeah, you get ever, ever, ever. He had what Norv Turner, then the offensive coordinator, called the greatest quickness <laughs> in a confined space Norv has ever seen. Right. I'm sure Norv would say that to this day. Yes. That means duck and dart behind those elephant offensive linemen, and you couldn't get you hitting a flush. You're hitting him no. flush now. That's why he endured. Right. Zeke is the polar opposite no. of that. And I have sympathy for Ezekiel Elliott because arguably... This is going to be his last contract, yes. right? Yes. If it's four years, could that not be about the closing window? Especially big dollar contract. Okay. Now, he might be playing on a minimum well, contract. Maybe. God bless him. I'm knocking yeah. on wood for him. But the point is, this is huge for him, just as it was huge for Emmett back in 1993. Correct. Now, I was there, covered that team. I was right in the middle of all that because I'd written a book off the 92 Cowboys. Mm -hmm. So what's the big difference between now and then? <laughs> Jerry Jones, as a still new fastest gun in the West owner of the Dallas Cowboys with Jimmy Johnson as head coach, had just broken through at least one year early and won the Super Bowl. Correct. Jerry was feeling himself. He was full of himself, and sometimes he was full of you-know-what, yeah. right? <laughs> and 
As they hit 1993, he was willing to dig in against an Emmett who he loved. They were very close, just as Zeke and Jerry are very close. I what don't was, know if he was close. He might be closer to Zeke, Skip. I, he probably, probably, <laughs> now he's gotten closer to Emmett, but, but it, yeah. it, they kind of went to quote-unquote war. They this did. One, and it yeah. got a little personal. Mm -hmm. But the difference between Zeke and Emmett is Zeke loves being around the fellas. Zeke loves to practice. He does. Mm -hmm. He loves to play football. He loves to compete. He loves to win football games. Emmett just kind of did what he did. It kind of came fairly naturally. He wasn't a workout warrior. I think Zeke is a workout warrior. Yeah. Do you remember when he went to Cabo over the six-game oh, stretch yeah. and mm -hmm. came back? Yeah. Did he not look sleek and fit? Yeah, he did, because I remember when he showed up to camp, he yes. didn't look sleek he and fit. He did not Given look sleek and fit, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so is it possible that he's now in Frisco, Texas, where he lives, just working out, getting yeah. ready? Do you think he's starting to miss the fact that he reads on the Internet, whatever, he sees the video on whatever? Yeah. He sees, oh, they're all out there. I'm missing that right now, and I don't have to miss it. In, in, back in 2017, right. he was forced out for six games. Right. Now he's not forced out, but these camp days, if you're holding out, they start to drag on, and they get longer and longer, mm -hmm. and you start to get itchier and itchier because you, you love football. You do. And you know that, that your life expectancy is pretty short, so while you want your big contract, potentially your last big one, you also want to be with the guys uh -huh. in, you know, out there in Oxnard. You do. Because it's fun out there. It is, especially, Skip. I remember um, uh, in 92, I was holding out because I signed, you know, I was a seventh round pick, so I only signed a two-year deal. And uh, I remember my agent calling me and said, oh, I probably would have showed up early, but the Olympics were going on. I wanted to catch the last mm -hmm. little bit of the Olympics. But anyway, and he said, well, Shannon, I think if we hold out another two or three days, I think we can get an extra fifty. Well, fifty thousand dollars was a lot of money back in nineteen ninety two. Skill. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was like, so what are they? You know, what are they offering? Mm. He said two hundred twenty five. I hung the phone up. Skip. I drove. I drove to camp the next. I drove to camp the next morning and went to practice. And Dan Reeves asked me, he said, Shannon, what are you doing here? I was like, I'm ready to practice. He said, but you hadn't signed the contract. That's how anxious I was to get back. Uh -huh. and go. I had already missed Skip, but I Skip. It didn't. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be there that bad. Skip, it didn't really, it didn't dawn on me until I got older that at any given time my career could have been. Skip, you know what, Skip, when you're young, you don't think anything can happen to you. There's a reason why young guys join the military, because they're not going to be the ones, Skip, anything bad going to happen to. Nobody thinks when you're young, I'm going to live forever. Mm. I'm going to play in the NFL as long as I want to. I'm going to have me a career like Tom Brady. Every, you think every receiver that's playing, Think they're gonna play as long as Tom Brady. Mm. Every quarterback, every offense, defensive lineman. Or Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. Right? He's yeah. still going. Yeah, yeah, everybody thinks they're gonna yeah. have that. So you yeah. don't really think about it, Skipper. It's not until you start to get older, you start to realize, like, man, I left some money on the table. I was very, very foolish. And then if, run, maybe if I was a running back, Skip, I would have thought differently. Interesting. But to know now the pounding that the running backs take and how guys, how you have getting up in the morning. Zeke's, tw what, 24 years of age? I guarantee you Zeke body's achy during the season getting up out of bed, mm. Skip. Wow. Yeah. You know, 24, 25 yeah. carries. No, them, them holes ain't like at, you're playing college football where they're mm. wide open. Nah, a guy's hitting you as soon as you get the ball. Skip, he got to get his money. He mm. knows he's never going to get another... He's never getting another payday like this one. Okay, so... I fixated on what's something that came out of the mouth of Jason Witten the other day. Oh, yeah. This is on Friday, and I got to read this short okay. quote because he summed it up for me, and I agree with the sentiment that he expressed. My experience has been those things, meaning a contract squabble, yeah. around here anyway, those things usually work out. Yeah, yeah. Jerry Jones is good at getting those things done. So, to me, I do not believe that Zeke will miss real games. I believe it will get done. You At first, you were predicting maybe he'd come in the, the, the week the, before. The before, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. And I would be just fine with that. Now, if you told me he would actually miss the first two real games and he would come back and be the regular season MVP and the Super Bowl MVP, which is what happened to Emmitt Smith, <laughs> I'll take that outcome yeah. right I, now. I bet you would. Yes, I would. But let me ask you a question. Do you believe he's going to get his money? I believe he'll get at 
Todd Gurley money. He will not get way beyond Todd Gurley. Okay, well, give me a dollar more. I'll take a dollar more, because that used to be the going sentiment, Skip. A round receiver sign, and then Jerry was signed, and my brother said, I need to make a dollar more than Jerry. Really? And then Michael Irvin said, I need to make a dollar more than Sterling Sharp. And the next guy... Okay, but remember, they're trying to reset the yeah, bar. Yeah. I, I don't know what they want, but maybe they want 50 guaranteed, and they want, uh, you know, up to... Man, they ain't getting no, no running back, no $50 million okay. guarantee. Well, that's he what better, they're asking for. Nah, you might, they, 30. He might get mm -hmm. 30 fully guaranteed. I don't know. Didn't Todd get 45? Yeah, no. Way more yeah, than Todd 30. Mm -mm. Yeah. Skip, I when I say fully guaranteed, I ain't talking about no roster bonus because okay. they can cut you before the start of the, uh, uh, the league year, March yep. 1st or March 9th, yep. and you don't get that. I'm talking about when I sign my name, Jenny, they cut me. Well, you know, they don't really cut the check, but they direct <laughs> deposit $30 million. Okay, just remember, Todd Gurley got 45 guaranteed, and Le'Veon then got... 31.9 guaranteed. So yeah. he got way less guaranteed, oh, right? But, but see, the thing is, Skip, like, Different. here's the thing. When you see a guy says, okay, he signs a four-year extension, he gets four years plus the two years left on that contract. So whatever the two years left plus what he got, so if Zeke signs for, let's just say he gets a, a three-year extension for $55 million with $40 million guaranteed.